All right, so for today's episode is gonna be something kind of like a little tester. For one, I'm using a mic, so hopefully the audio is good. Uh, I'm not using a boom mic, which I probably should be using a boom mic just in case, but I can't plug in two audio sources, so we're gonna be just using this mic and hopefully that the audio is gonna be good. So today is February 17th, and if you guys didn't realize, Supreme dropped the 2020 preview lookbook. And I have to say, I, I've talked a lot of bad stuff about Supreme. I've said some good stuff about some Supreme. Right now, I don't own anything from Supreme, but I have had pieces from Supreme before. And to be honest, this season might make me buy some more Supreme because I will be 100% honest, the pieces are fire. So today, we're gonna be jumping into the lookbook slash preview. I'm gonna be screen recording on my phone. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know why the dogs don't bark when I'm when I'm recording. Stop barking, guys. I'm recording. Okay, Dad's working. You guys gotta stop. So I'm gonna be screen recording on my phone, and I'm gonna put it right here on this side, and basically just walk you guys through the Supreme lookbook and preview. So let's jump into it. So basically, I'm not gonna do it in any specific order. I know people like to categorize, you know, they start with the jackets and move to t-shirts and then stuff like that. Basically, I'm just gonna click the first square and go on and talk about the piece, uh, whether I like it, whether I dislike it, what I think about it. So to start it off, we're talking about the Fox Fur Varsity Jacket. Um, in my opinion, it's cool. It's nothing really special. I'm sure it is very soft, or at least I'm hoping it is very soft. Uh, you know when you go into those stores or you go into those places and you see fur jackets and you feel it and it's like amazingly soft? That's what I'm hoping it'll be. Um, but, you know, we, we shall see. The next one we are doing like the spray painted Gore-Tex Anorak. Now, to be honest with this one, I thought it was kind of cool at first. Um, I'm curious to see what the material is like. Uh, it would be kind of cool if they actually like had paint on it. Like it wasn't just printed, like if it was actually... I don't know, I guess custom per se, but it's probably just gonna be printed, so I'm curious on that. Now these two colors aren't anything special, just the green and the black. Um, the paint obviously is gonna be the number one sellers for that. Has the matching pants, so you already know the Instagram Supreme models are gonna be flexing their stuff. Now this piece was one of the first pieces that I was like, okay, this is, this is starting to get fire. You guys know, or if you've been watching me, you know that I love patchwork, I love cut and sew anything. So the fact that we're doing the fake suede uh, patchwork is just really nice. I really like the brown. The black, you can't really tell too much. It's like a subtle flex, same with the gray. I mean, obviously you could tell it's cut and sew, but the brown really makes it pop and looks like almost like a checkerboard as what the you know they're probably going for. Continuing down the line, you have the painted logo shirt. I like this. Uh, if you guys know me, you know I like bright colors. You know I like loud stuff, so this isn't too bad. Uh, if I had to pick between all of them, to be honest, I don't know, that purple one is pretty hard. That purple one's nice. Bandana, paisley shirt, we've seen a ton before. I do like how they do the grid, it's multi, which it's not just the normal paisley, kind of try to mix it up. Uh, the snake skin shirt, nothing too special. The plaid shirt, nothing special. The Oxford, this I know Supreme, the Daniel Johnston. It's just, you know, I'm just gonna keep swiping through this because to be honest, I don't, I don't think that it's anything really eye grabbing per se. Moving down, now this piece, I've actually had something very similar. Um, I'll actually try to pop up a picture if I can find it. They basically copied Paco jeans or Paco denim. It's the same thing, the hole punch, and instead of Supreme on the back, it says Paco. Um, I literally had it in black. I sold it and now I'm kind of regretting it. Like everything that I've realized is Supreme is kind of bringing back a lot of stuff. I'll show you guys, there's this hoodie that legit is like, they, they ripped off from like a vintage piece 100%. Uh, so my favorite colorway of this, I really like the blue. The black is okay, the tan is okay, but I think the blue really pops. It almost reminds me of the Supreme Louis Vuitton, how it has like the white all over the light blue denim. So that's not bad. The corduroy Harrington jacket, nothing special. That purple really pops though. Um, but again, you know, nothing too crazy. The corduroy cargo pants, now those are pretty sick. Corduroy, I feel like ever since Sean Witherspoon did the corduroy, people are like, ah, oh, corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. This piece I thought was pretty sick. I was kind of confused because obviously I saw the Vanson, and Vanson usually makes leather jackets or motorcycle. Obviously, they're a motorcycle brand, I believe. Uh, don't quote me or don't roast me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure they're a motorcycle brand. Um, but they did leather patches on like a nylon jacket, which I thought was kind of unique uh, and something you, we haven't really seen. 
Uh, my favorite colorway, I think the black with the multi, the red with the white, black, and gray, it's okay. But to be honest, I think the multicolored really pops right there. Moving on, we do have the shiny reversible puffy jacket. Not my style. Uh, the black and red is cool, but I don't know, nothing, nothing really worth grabbing, you know? This one's kind of cool, American flag. Uh, reminds me of the USA or American flag box logo uh, off rip, but other than that, again, nothing, nothing too crazy. This is kind of cool with the Supreme kind of wrapped around uh, the big letter, like the track jacket. If I had to say the best colorway is the black and red, that orange and blue just really doesn't do it for me. It kind of reminds me of soccer though, uh, you know, like a soccer jersey per se. This jacket I thought was pretty sick how they had all the logos on it. We've seen uh, the NBA Air Forces where they did all the logos on it. So this is kind of different. Obviously it's the MLB, but I thought that's pretty sick. You know, they have basically a whole entire sleeve just doing nothing but patches. Um, and then they do it in the different colorway. I, the black one, I don't understand why they did that. Like, yeah, I get it, it's cool, it's subtle flex, but to be honest, the patches really make the jacket and make it stand out. So if someone's just getting the all black, it just doesn't make sense. Here we see the Gucci colorway. Now Supreme every season does do like a red and green, which is like Gucci inspired or Gucci colorway, uh, just because obviously Gucci adopted the green and red. So now whenever we see green and red, we always think, oh, okay, it's, it's Gucci colorway. That neon yellow is disgusting. The light blue isn't bad. You know, light blue with maybe like a pair of khaki pants. I'm sure that would go good. Oh, well, there you go. It has the matching pants I didn't even see. A lot of this stuff I haven't seen is gonna be new to me watching you guys. Um, basically, I woke up this morning, checked my email, saw that Supreme released it, and I figured, you know what? Let me go through, look what and see what they have. I saw some nice pieces, especially the accessories. We're gonna say the accessories to the last, but, um, and I was like, you know what, let me make a video on it. I, I never make Supreme videos, but I figured I don't have a video for today, so let me upload a video. So we have the Supreme Vance, and now it seems like Supreme and Vance are doing a bunch of collabs this season. Um, I've already seen uh, one or two jackets from them. Now this is the either the second or the third. They're doing the leather perforated bomber in the green colorway with the red stripe. Me personally, I don't like that green colorway. I don't like the white. The black isn't horrible. I wish they would have done like a red stripe instead of a yellow. Um, but it's just not my style. The velour jacket, it's cool. Uh, you have the grid taping all throughout. Just again, you know, the black on black, you can't even see it. It's like the subtle, obviously the matching pants. Seems like there's a lot of matching sets, which they always do matching sets, but you know, it's obviously good for the Instagram pictures. You can have the matching set. So we have the Supreme Scott, the fringe suit, uh, suede coat. To be honest, this is gonna sit. Um, for some reason, all the Scott Supreme Scott like always sits for some reason. It doesn't matter. Even sometimes the Vanson, well actually, I don't know. I feel like the Vanson kind of sells out, but for some reason the Scott jackets always seem to sit. Track uh, half zip, it's okay. You know, nothing special. Again, the matching bottoms. Ripstop utility jacket. I like how they put that little random pocket and just like kind of on the side. You know, other than that, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. Uh, we've seen that camo colorway before in like pants and other stuff and usually it does pretty well with resale. Now we're moving on to the velvet coat. Now this is kind of weird. Um, I'm curious to see what it feels like, but like basically it just looks like a white coat that was like splattered with stuff, uh, almost like a cow effect. This neon is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we have the quilted corduroy or cordora line jacket. I don't know why I said corduroy, I'm tripping. Um, that looks really comfortable. Again, hopefully the fur is super soft. Uh, you know, you always want to be the best. If I actually, I like the black one in that. And out of those two colorways, I do like the black one. I know I've been talking bad about all black, but I do actually like that black one. Doesn't look bad at all. This hoodie, I kind of was confused. We want it to be known as Supreme. Um, just because obviously Supreme always does big branding. So it's like, obviously we want to know it to be Supreme, but I don't really know. Uh, the Milan hooded sweatshirt, I think is cool. Um, nothing that I would wear. I do like that purple colorway with the gray and white, uh, like that lavender colorway. I definitely like this. Now this hoodie is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you actually a picture. Basically this is 100% like a rip off of vintage. Uh, like the all over uh, print shirt, just the Miles David. They have tons of these shirts. The back is sick. Personally, I would definitely wear this and I would definitely buy this. I don't listen to Miles David. 
Um, obviously, I know he's a, a legend, but I just, not my style of music. It does come in the black and white colorway, but to be honest, I think the colors on the first one pop way more and just look so much nicer than just the black and white one. You have the logo crew neck. I'm not really feeling it. The Chinese letters or the Japanese letters, whatever letters that is, I don't want to disrespect anyone. And with the Supreme logo, it just doesn't look good. Uh, it's just, I don't know. The green colorway is okay, but nothing too special. Crew neck. Now, this is exactly what I was talking about. Supreme branding literally across the whole entire crew neck. Supreme, Supreme, Supreme. Just insane colorways. Uh, my favorite out of this one... I don't really know. I don't really care for either of them. I think it's honestly too much branding at this point. You're just like, you're screaming way too much that it's supreme, you know? Warm up hooded sweatshirt. Again, nothing crazy. You have the pinstripe going down the sleeves. It's okay. The stars crew neck, not bad. Supreme in big letters on the back with the stars throughout. Kind of reminds me of Champion. You know, Champion does the spell out on the back as well. Uh, my favorite colorway, I do like that lime green with the white. I feel like that really pops. Color block zip hooded sweatshirt. It's okay. Um, you have two box logos on each side. I'm not really feeling the colors. The black and red one isn't bad with the gray, but as far as that blue, green, and like cream, I'm not really feeling that. It's all personal opinions. Obviously, like I'm saying it off of what I think. Uh, you guys will like what you like. You guys will buy what you like. I'll buy what I like, but I'm just giving you guys my opinion on uh, the 2020 so far. So we have the Supreme XXL hooded sweatshirt, and to be honest, that kind of reminds me of the Champion Supreme collab that they did not uh, a couple years back. I don't really care for, it almost looks like it's a short sleeve and you're wearing long sleeve underneath, so I don't really care for that color blocking that they did. The black and yellow probably goes the best. The green, red, not too bad, but the other colors just look kind of funky. We have the crossover hooded sweatshirt. I don't know if that is embroidered. It kind of looks like it is though. And if that's the case, then it seems like it might be pretty nice. I don't know what they were thinking with that lime green with the red colorway though. That just looks hideous to me. Uh, the cream with the baby blue probably looks the nicest in my opinion. Gems hooded sweatshirt. So we have, it looks like maybe Swarovski crystals. It doesn't say Swarovski crystals, but it does say with gem logo on it. So I, I'm not probably, they probably didn't do Swarovski crystals. If they did, it would probably be mentioned just like the box logo hoodie that they, or the t-shirt and hoodie that they did um, a few seasons back. The cross half zip sweatshirt. Again, it's cool. Nothing crazy. It really screams supreme. Uh, I'm sure Hypebeast will, you know, go over that, especially with the white with the red. You'll see him flexing that. Cut out logo crew neck. I think this will go like box logos because basically it is a box logo. Obviously it's not the legit box logo, but you guys get the gist of the Supreme being right there, you know? Um, that crew neck, that lavender is probably gonna go hard. That green, the lavender and green are probably gonna go the hardest. The green might probably sell less than the lavender, but it is a new colorway. And like I said, the box logo or the cutout logo is probably gonna sell super quick. Speaking of box logo, we have the small box logo hooded sweatshirt. They do, I think they do this every season, either it's a sweatshirt or a small, like a mini box logo t-shirts. Nothing crazy, but they do sell out just because, you know, it's a box logo, which is mind blowing at the end of the day, you know? Back jacket, I wonder if it's 3M, yeah it is, it's 3M reflective on the hood going down the sleeve. They have it in pink, Gray, the lime green I do like. Seems like they're doing a lot of lime green this season. Uh, I wonder what the case may be. You guys know that the acid lime green box logo sells for dumb money, so I wonder if they're kind of like, oh, let's bring more lime green stuff. The Waves work jacket, I think this is sick with the koi fish, I believe those are. Um, all throughout, I wonder if they have different colorways. Ooh, that black and gold is pretty tough, not gonna lie. I really like that black and gold. The koi fish going around, just super sick. Definitely better than the first one. That black and gold is, is pretty hard. Of course, they have the matching jeans, the matching denim. I'm sure everyone in New York is probably gonna cop this. You have the New York sweater in the Mets colorway, the orange and blue, Supreme on the back. The black and red, that does go hard, as well as the white and black. Uh, the cartoon sweater is pretty sick with the Supreme all over. It kind of gives like that vintage vibes of just like the crazy cartoon. Star zip up sweater polo, nothing too crazy. Back logo sweater, again, this is kind of similar to what I said. It, it reminds me of like a champion piece or something similar to that. 
the cutout leather hooded sweatshirt. That thing looks fire. Um, just the all over, the multicolored. I like the purple, the light blue looks sick. This, this reminds me of the 90s like vintage, like the bling shirt, get money. The bling hooded sweatshirt, that's probably gonna sell out, go for a lot. It almost reminds me of camo. That red and white does look pretty sick, but I think I like the normal like money green. It really does look like a camo like craziness. Metallic rib hooded sweatshirt, nothing crazy in my opinion. Naomi crew neck, okay. I like the colors of the green and pink. Other than that, nothing too crazy. The Marty hooded sweatshirt, or Mar Marty, I don't know why I said Marty. I saw the back, the Mary hooded sweatshirt. I like that actually. I like the old English, the font on it, uh, the back. I, I do like that, especially in the yellow colorway, it's not bad at all. Eyelid hooded sweatshirt, that is cool and that is unique. I've actually seen a lot of people do this before where they put eyelets all on the collar or all throughout, so that's kind of unique and different that they're trying, so that I actually really do like. The colorway, that green with the yellow is pretty sick, but I think the red or the gray is probably, you know, keep it subtle. This is kind of like that hooded parka that we saw, the Gore-Tex with the spray paint all through over, just a multicolored. I would definitely rock that for sure. Motion logo, motion logo sells just as fast as the box logo, so I'm sure that will go super quick. Ooh, the colors, that purple, the green and the yellow will probably pop. The embryo hooded sweatshirt, That'd be dope if it was all embroidered, which I don't think it is. It's probably screen printed, but if it was embroidered, that would be insane. Underline, crew neck, supreme. I don't know. S logo, S logo is the same with the motion logo as well as the box logos. The S logo usually sells out pretty quickly. The colorways, that pink, purple, the forest green, and the yellow will probably be the number one picks. Over dyed hooded sweatshirt which is surprising because there's no Supreme branding on that. I was swiping to see if there would be something on the back, but there's none at all. There's no Supreme branding at all. Uh, my opinion, that peach colorway, the neon yellow again, and the others are eh, nothing too crazy. Moving on to the t-shirts, you have the Tupac hologram. Now, if, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure the Tupac hologram was from Coachella last year or two years ago. Um, basically they brought Tupac as like a hologram on stage and he went per performed. So I'm pretty sure they got that from that. They made the bling into a T, the paint logo. I'm just gonna kind of run through these. I do like the tie-dye, the love by children with the Jesus on the cross. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna get that. The tie-dye is something different that they haven't done or that I haven't seen too often as well. Uh, they have the Naomi shirt, the long sleeve, the sacred, uh, the cherries. Black Cat, which I wonder if Black Cat, I wonder if that's fireworks or if it's just Black Cat in general. Supreme Masterpieces, the Shop Tee. That Shop Tee will probably do pretty well. This one's sick. I love when they do back logos on it with like the mask on it. The Laugh Now. Now talking about rayon shirts, I love rayon shirts. Rayon is like almost like silk, super soft, super lightweight, perfect for dressing up. I always get mine at Zara. I don't think I've ever had a Supreme Rayon shirt just because I never want to pay the price for them. But jumping into it, we have the Daniel Johnston with like the all over art print. Um, it's cool, it kind of looks like a kid drew it, but hey, to each their own. Uh, the Mosaic Silk, that's probably gonna be expensive. That's probably gonna be dumb expensive. I don't even wanna know. I like the blue on it though. I don't like the gold. I don't like the black. The flags rayon shirt. I feel like Forever 21 did something similar to this with like flags all throughout. Uh, so I don't really care for that. The lace just, oh, not, it seems like it's see through too. So I, I don't know how I feel about that. I do like this rayon shirt with the all over multi print. Uh, I thought that they had a Bob Marley one, but I think. Maybe that's who I saw and I thought it was Bob Marley just by quick glance. Uh, bowling shirt, again, you can find these at Vintage Store. The City Lights, uh, Arc logo, I feel like it's like right on your belly, it's just not appealing. Another silk shirt, we're just kind of breeze through these. The floral rayon, the denim, the satin pajamas are pretty hard, not gonna lie. I've never actually had satin pajamas, but I'm sure they're dumb comfortable. Cool suit, we've seen him do suits before. They're bringing it back again. Um, for the price, it's honestly dumb expensive. It doesn't have Supreme logos on it at all, unless if you open up the vest. So it's like for someone to buy a Supreme suit, you really have to really either one, love the brand, or two, you're just an obsessed hype beast. 
Uh, checks embroidered denim jacket. Now this is insane. This whole entire denim jacket, all embroidered. This is probably gonna be dumb expensive. That light blue colorway, it looks very nice though. The black and red does look nice as well. Here we go again with the paisley grid. Now they have it in the multicolored pants. Uh, those are sick, I'd probably wear the black one. Pleated trousers, again, it's almost similar to like the dress pants or like the suit, just there's no really point. Cargo pant, we've seen this a lot. Now they're doing the light camo and like the baby blue with the gray. We've seen multicolored with the yellow. We've seen a bunch of different camo with the cargo pants, but now this season they're doing that. Work pant with American flags. Again, the American flags is almost something like Forever 21 did. It's very, I don't know, I feel like I've seen that before. Double knee panzer pant, it seems like like a Dickies inspired uh, or like a Carhartt inspired pant with that they're doing there. Uh, I do like the straw print again. The Miles David skate pant, again, that will go perfect with the hoodie and I'm sure a bunch of YouTube or a bunch of Instagram people are gonna be taking photos with that just because the colors are so bright, it's really gonna pop. The Liberty floral belted pant is cool as well. I do like the yellow one as well as the black. The middle one, not so much. Utility panted, uh, I like the camo and the yellow. The warm-up pant almost has like that Versace-esque with the black and gold, or at least that's what I feel like with the vibes. Cotton cinch pinch, we see that with the camo. This is kind of cool, again, the cutout, they have the cutout hoodie so you can match with that. The camera angle has changed like probably three times, but my camera has died uh, three times now, so I, I keep having to change the battery and like I can't get the same position that I've had. Uh, so that's why you'll notice like, yo, why do I keep moving throughout the video? But jumping back into it, uh, let's quickly finish this up because this video is taking way too long. So we're gonna, so we finished on the backpacks or we're starting on the backpacks. As you guys know, Supreme does backpacks, fanny packs, side bags. I do all bags every single season. So this one we have the light blue camo. Uh, I'm, Oh, I thought they would do more camo. I guess they're only doing that camo. So we have the light blue, we have the gold, the black, and the red. My favorite, I do like that light blue camo. This one's kind of cool. We have the big duffel bag. We've seen uh, Louis Vuitton do like the see-through or like the translucent uh, duffel bags. So that's not surprising that we see Supreme kind of do it. In my opinion, it looks like a dog carrier or a dog bag. But hey, that's kind of cool. I mean, if you want people to see what you're carrying in your duffel bag, then by all means, you know, cop this and show it off to the world. The waist bag, this thing looks huge. You could put a full water bottle on it. You could put a camera. You can just fit a lot of stuff. So this thing, it looks absolutely big. But what I do like is that it has a strap for like a fanny pack and then a strap on your waist. So you can wear it different ways. Again, the same colors. My favorite is the blue. We have the small shoulder bag, which it looks like it is the same as the duffel see-through. Utility pouch, again, see-through duffel. This is different. We have Supreme Vance in the leather letters bag. Um, I don't think I've ever seen Vance and do a bag before, so that's kind of different. As well as this, the Dr. or the D Martini. I don't know why I said Dr. The D Martini um, spray painted little satchel bag. They have a tote. Geez, they're doing ton of bags, which is honestly, I like to see. They have the stripe, the woven waist bag, the woven coin pouch. So it seems like you're getting a bunch of bags this season versus just the normal uh, backpack fanny and waist bag or like utility bag that they usually do. Finally, moving on to the last two slots, we have the Nike Air Force One Supreme Lows, which we've seen tease and a lot of people leak before. We thought that they were gonna do the SUP instead of the Air on the Nike Air, but as you see in the photo, it does say Air versus Supreme. Now, that's a small box logo. I'm hoping that retail is only gonna be like 120. Uh, if they try to make these like $200, it's just not worth it for that little box logo, because at the end of the day, it's just a basic Air Force One. Now getting into the accessories, which the accessories kind of made me want to do this video because I was like, damn, that is pretty sick. So jumping into it, we have the Mac Toolbox, the, the Workstation series. If you own a house, I would definitely recommend that. Don't put it in your apartment. Don't put it in your room for like, it's probably gonna be dumb expensive. It's probably gonna be super hard to get, but yeah, like, I don't know, just people use it to it. 1995 BMX dirt bike, that is gonna be probably a high ticket item. Uh, we've seen in the past the bicycles, the dirt bikes, anything that's kind of you can ride always goes for a lot. 
This one is insane, dude. A Supreme Oreo, like, yo, how big of a hype beast do you have to be like, oh, I'm craving some Oreos, but not just regular Oreos. I want the Supreme Oreos. I'm curious to see if they taste different, if they taste the same, but you have a box logo Supreme cookies. And if you guys remember, when they released the Supreme Brick, a lot of people were getting bricks that were broken, bricks that were just demolished, bad condition. So I'm curious to see how they're gonna ship these Oreos. Do you guys think these Oreos are gonna come out smashed? Like you open it, it's gonna be like half broken. Are people gonna be taking it out and selling one Oreo as it is? Are they gonna be selling it as a pack? I'm just kind of curious to see what the resale market and how people are gonna resell Supreme Oreo food. Um, if I had to guess, this is probably the first food item they've ever released on their website. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below if, if they have before, but I don't remember, I can't think of any food item that they've released. And it's kind of crazy that they, that they can even sell something like this. Like is StockX gonna have Supreme Oreos on their website or is like this gonna not be resoldable? Obviously it's gonna be resellable because people are gonna be reselling it, but it's like, I don't know, These when I saw that they're doing Oreos and the fact that Supreme is a skateboarding brand collabing with Oreos is just mind blowing. But moving on, 14 karat gold plate necklace. We've seen these necklaces, they always sit out. This is kind of cool if you actually know how to make music and use turntables. Um, other than that, it's probably just, I don't know why people would do that. Binoculars, again, if you actually use it, if you go out in the wild and you know hunt or whatnot, but just to have it sitting on your shelf isn't, I don't know, it's not too crazy. These are pretty sick, the instant film. Um, I'm not sure what kind of camera, if you have to buy like a very specific camera for that or if you can use any Polaroid and it's just Polaroid blanks, but I thought that was pretty unique. This, I had a feeling that BB Simon, they were gonna do it because I've seen a lot of people recently, oh, BB Simon, like I want that belt, I want that belt, like always trying to find it or like whenever I'm at the thrift store and I find a belt similar to that, people are like, yo, you should've got that because it reminds me of BB Simon. So the fact that BB Simon did a collab with Supreme is, is pretty sick in my opinion. I do like the white one over the red and black. The lawn chair with the multicolored logo, you know people are gonna be at the campouts with that. The blanket, it's kind of like a Mexican blanket. The basketball we've seen before, Ziploc bags. Now people are gonna go crazy for this. They've done the scale, they've done everything. Now you have the Ziploc bags for it. You know people are gonna be serving up in that Supreme uh, Ziploc bags and they're probably gonna charge you a little bit more if they usually charge you 25 They're gonna charge you that 35 just because you have it in a supreme Ziploc bag uh, Again, I'm curious are people gonna be selling the bags by itself? Are they gonna be selling the box? Are they gonna be selling five bags in a bundle? I'm really curious to see how that uh, resale market's gonna be with that Supreme and Speedo. This is pretty sick uh, I used to swim in middle school and high school. I was on a swimming team. So, I mean, it's kind of unique that they did swim goggles. And again, they're collabing with Speedo. Uh, Supreme is collabing with a lot of big brands and I think a lot of big companies are seeing it. For example, this next one, Rawlings. Rawlings is a huge, huge, huge sports company. So it's like, it's crazy that they're doing that. Again, Gyro uh, with the bike helmets, um, the Letterman with a little toolbar. We've seen this before, the Supreme Mechanic Gloves, uh, Ceramic Bowl, which if you guys saw the Ceramic Little Angel, that thing sold for like dumb amount of money, thousands of dollars, uh, debossed glass ashtray, you have the incense burner, the woven straw mat, the transparent lock, the Supreme Transparent Checkered Umbrella, uh, the water bottle, this is kind of cool, glow in the dark Zippo. We haven't seen this before. Usually they just do like a red Zippo or a silver Zippo. So the fact that they did the glow in the dark, I think is pretty unique. Uh, a bird call, which is again, just mind blowing. People are hyping, it's gonna be coo, 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 just making bird calls all throughout. We do have the Supreme mug set. Uh, the towel we want to be known as Supreme. We have the bling towel. Of course, the Hanes, black and white. You've seen them do checker before, you've seen them do camo. Doesn't seem like they're gonna do anything crazy. This ballpark poncho will definitely resell and definitely be a hot commodity because obviously it's a box logo poncho. I thought this was pretty unique, the waterproof lighter case. Um, I wonder if you can use that. Yeah, it seems like you can use that with any lighter. It doesn't seem like the lighter, oh, lighter included, okay. But I wonder if it's a Supreme lighter. It's probably just a normal Bic lighter if I had to guess. But if it's a Supreme logo lighter, then that's gonna be pretty, Pretty expensive. I know Supreme did a lighter and I actually saw Riff LA 
uh, posted it for like $300, which is dumb. Like, why are you gonna spend $300 on a Bic that is gonna last? You can't even refill Bic, so it's like literally pointless. Skeleton keychain. Uh, we have a Tupac hologram skateboard. I did see a few skateboards that I liked. Um, one of them being this one, the distorted logo with like box logos all throughout. I thought that was pretty unique. The chrome logo is cool. The pipe skate tee, like, come on, yo. Like, honestly, who really uses metal to smoke? And like, that's just, it's probably not for functionality. It's more just for like the convenience. Like, oh, we have a skate tool and we can use it as a pipe. But as far as actually using it and smoking out of metal, it's probably not gonna be the best tasting or the best for you. And that concludes the 2020 lookbook. We are finally done. I know this video is super long, super drawn out. I didn't realize how many items there were. And this is my first Supreme video I think I've done on this channel. I've probably done it before, but I've never done a lookbook video. So if you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe. I post daily videos at 8 p.m. every single day. Please subscribe, like the video. If you guys want more Supreme content throughout this season, comment down below, smash the like button so I know you guys enjoy this type of content. Again, I'm trying something a little bit different. Um, usually I stick to thrifting, but yo, it's 2020, we're on the grind, we're trying to make content, Supreme's content, so let's do it at the end of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, again, smash the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m. And don't forget, guys, let's get it.